Hello, David. Sergei here. What's your season now? It's winter here, and here are the atmospheric special effects. Free energy. <laughs> well, you must have heard that uh, we've had some rockets here. Missiles which have destroyed our electricity system. How are you doing? Um, I am reading your letters. I've read the news. Sorry for keeping with the answer for about half a year. It's better to talk about something more optimistic, right? <clears throat> we don't have electricity here very often. Well, and it means that we don't have the internet. So I need Starlink and uh, a battery from Germany, possibly. For two hundred dollars I've got it I've got the money for the battery can't buy Starlink yet because I've got only 350 and I can't work and then well I've got food um, just before all of this mess started. I had bought a new generation 12 Intel overclocked CPU <laughs> and my computer is very efficient but I can't use it. As if as if like Putin brings you surprises and presents then I was going to ask you if you could send me some street videos about how you are possibly working there or what you do in your free time. Oh. It's been two minutes, right? I hope the message is going to squeeze into some sort of MMS, right? Which you can get on your phone if you are not using any other messengers. Oh, please tell me how your yoga is doing. I know that... I, I, I'm not sure, but I guess you are doing rehabilitation. Well, that's the place. The food. I would say it's enough for two months. Oh, that's our local delicacy made by my neighbor who um, lives with her husband and their daughter lives in Poland the country which is uh, just outside <laughs> on the doorstep of our country yeah humanitarian aid which consists of uh, Spaghetti. If it's really spaghetti, you know, it would be wonderful. If it's real hard um, flour. Well, that's the fun. Oh, I'm cooking. Oh, what I'm cooking is spaghetti <laughs> from Turkey. 
This is humanitarian aid. Look at the nails. Uh, damn. There is no hot water. This is what I've got um, for washing my dishes. I, I'm not going to show you what's there. Then the gas is represented by this cylinder. I hope it's not from Putin. I hope it's some liquid gas from the USA. But you, you, I think you know that uh, the place which I left in Lysychansk is full of oil and gas. But Russia started the war in order to monopolize the industry. Because Putin is the manager of the oil pump well then there are electric electric devices here even this thing is modern it was a gift from my host he just uh, gave it to me he let me use it for some for the moment well the mess if you could smell it, it's from the hills nearby. The hills are in the countryside, you know. I live in the village. Well, that's the Polish humanitarian aid. What's this? <coughs> Pieces of pork. I'm sorry for shaking. You. Well, as you as you see, there is no hot water, and that's why the um, bachelor style. Well, if you can see some Ukrainian refugees in your place, could you tell them that uh, they could send us some generators? Ah, uh, um, we can't make money and make donations to the Ukrainian army. So the monsters are going to just bite us piece by piece, region by region. <sighs> I need a wife, you know, but I'm not very local, you know. From, from the area of Ukraine, which is famous for its anti-Ukrainian in the past um, views. Well, now they have changed drastically, like 90... 90 95% of people are pro-Ukrainian everywhere and the rest are being caught one by one you can read it in the news well then I guess it's time to send you the message I wish you well <clears throat> on this optimistic note uh, Merry Christmas <laughs> and uh, Happy New Year hope to get your message one day have fun